<laughs> good banter. That's some good banter. Hello and welcome to episode 10 of Good Banter with Evan Hocking and Tom Seagate. And we have made it. We have made it just in time for Christmas, Tommy. Double digits. Double digits. The big, uh, the big one zero, And uh, it's taken a while. So when, when was our first one? Our first one, well, we recorded it on, I think it was the 11th of January. Okay. So. And it probably went up uh, a little bit after that. Then, um, yeah, big hiatus. Yeah, so it's taken, us, it's taken us 12 months. 12 months. So we're averaging maybe one a month. One a month. Not but we've, we're flying at the moment, mate. Yeah, some really good feedback on the last episode. Well, I think we finally um, finally found what the people want, and it was, uh, it was basically shit stories, wasn't it? it was shit stories. I think, um, yeah, episode five dipped. You were talking about you were going to be motivational with your atomic habits and yeah. your marathon running, and Jesus Christ, we lost some listeners that yeah, episode. no one wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that. But uh, that one of you last week... Uh, Shitting in a park, I think that really, um, that's that's where we're at. That's, yeah, our, you go. that's just, our level. I just wish I had more stories about shitting in a park, I guess. Just going to have to get busy, I guess. <laughs> well, just maybe maybe just uh, the Metamucil and maybe a laxative next time you're out. Who knows? I'm out not far, in public. I'm not, I'm not far from it at the moment. I had, uh, had a very early Christmas ham and got a bit excited. It was warm and it had the honey coating and I had a lot of it. And, um, yeah, the guts are rumbling and I've been the dunny a couple of times in preparation what the th- our podcast go for about 30 minutes and i'll be very lucky to uh get through that 30 minutes without Ooh, how long was it was a ham sitting on the bench for a few hours or something oh, i was just cooling down so it was beautiful out of the oven full full ham oh yeah full, full ham had, had the honey over the top and the glazing and all Great. that and did the first you know the first slice of the ham slice. Oh, and you are you were you're you're a, just a sharp knife man you're not one of those electric knives no no no, no. you can you can stick your electric knife up do your they ass. still um i remember when uh the, the old the old, uh, mum and get the electric knife out and the little fuzz would go through the tv do they still do that they probably don't these days did it do that in wodonga oh uh, did yeah it did it was always yeah mum we're watching the fucking telly we're watching sort the of fucking thing. tv stop cutting the meat yeah. bitch <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, no, she's a lovely lady yeah no she's a ripper so um no very good so yeah so plenty to talk about we've got a bit of a christmas theme so close to christmas we've got um, a bit exciting as well we've got the new camera we're up on youtube tommy so this is you go, hey! So we've got the Good Banter YouTube page. Yeah, things are happening. Things, things are, are happening. happening. We just sorted out that email as well. In the first episode, Tommy had set up really good banter at gmail.com. And forgot the password. Forgot the password. Yeah. So we just got onto the laptop then and we've fixed it. We've fixed it. So, yeah, really good banter at gmail.com. We, we had a few... Um, we had a couple of, uh, we had a potential sponsor yes. too. They might have gone cold over the nine months. Well, since it was, they it was their... three months ago. Oh, was it? Three months okay. ago. So, yeah, we'll get back to you. We'll get back to you. And, um, yeah, so Instagram's still pumping. Uh, yeah, I'm fired up. I've just got back from a, just a, a little Christmas party before I uh, got here, Tommy. So Oh, nice one. Ducked over to a mate's joint. Um did a quick piss in his pool, knocked down three beers and ate some food, and uh, yeah, now I'm here. That's what it's all about. Oh, it is an exciting time of the year, the old Christmas party. You can get, you can get in a bit of shit. I, I remember a couple of, oh, this more than a couple of years back, probably my prior job. I used to work as a as a dental technician when I first moved down from Wodonga to Melbourne. I was always just going to take the first job that fell on my lap, and that was uh, that was it. I did all right in the interview. Didn't really know what a dental technician was. But I uh, got the job and came to the Christmas party and got absolutely poleaxed. And what was the? I reckon dental technician. There would have been some because I, I always remember the dental technicians were glamorous. Uh no, that they, they were dental nurses. A oh, lot of, it's a common oh, mistake. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I wasn't a dental nurse. I wasn't. Oh, the, I thought you were assisting the dentist. No, no, a lot of they people, were always guns. Yeah, you used I don't to know love. Why people I always, used to just knock my teeth out just so yeah, I could go to the bloody dentist. Yeah, and the, see the hot dental nurse. No, not the no technician. They, they were nurses. No, the dental technician was tucked away in a laboratory, and we used to make all the false teeth <laughs> and the mouth guards. And we were, yeah, we certainly weren't beautiful people. We were, um, we were hidden. No one ever saw. Us. We yeah they used to you know when you that 
uh, that alginate that they used to stick in your mouth Sting. and it used to uh, well, we used to we used to get that it was gross yeah um it, and getting off track but every now and again you'd get one um and it would have a, a big fluoro label on it and it would have aids written on it so what's what is it the Alginate. So, so alginate. What's the alginate. So you know when you go to the dentist and yeah. and they um it's sort of it's like a goo, a wet goo, and you bite into it and it makes an impression of oh, your teeth and then yeah. it slowly um yep it slowly dries and you, get, and you sort of go and they pull it out and yep. anyway they used to send that to us so we used to we just sit, sat in this laboratory out and shit his ditch and um was that in Wodonga? No, no that Melbourne. was uh, when I first moved to Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. and um, where were you? Which suburb? Hampton Street. Oh, yeah. oh bright, nice, nice part Jesus, of town. Good. Nice yeah, part nice of teeth town. down there, yeah, mate. Beautiful teeth. Fake, so we used to fill that with titties. plaster and then work on the um, work on the plaster. But as I said, every now and again you'd get the alginate because that was covered in saliva, and quite Ooh. often there'd be blood all through it if people didn't clean their teeth. And you'd get this big yep. sticker on it that said AIDS. And so the, the not great, not great. So you'd be uh, particularly careful if you were dealing with the old AIDS uh, alginate. You'd have to fill that up, and yeah, not good, not good. But we got a got a bit off track there. So uh, anyway, so we went to the Christmas party. Um, so, so the dental nurses were at the Christmas party. No, right? they weren't at the. You, you, oh, so you're the real scum. The, yeah, no, <laughs> pretty hung up on the uh, dental nurses. Nothing to do with dental nurses. We uh. never saw dental nurses. We never talked to dental nurses. Right. None of us were dental nurses. We were dental <laughs> technicians. <laughs> Completely different fucking job. Okay. So, so we were guys that made false teeth, basically yep. made false teeth and and mouth guards and braces, orthodontic plates and. And uh, anyway, so Christmas party, poleaxed, um, as you do. I was the youngest guy in the office and had a mate from Wodonga came up, caught up with him after the um, Christmas party and went out in the city and lined up for about, I remember we lined up for about an hour and and it was just a long wait. Finally got to the front of the queue. Isn't that this, something you don't miss? The, oh. the line up at fucking nightclubs and that. Like, But you used to just love it. I mean, yeah. you didn't love probably the lineup, but you knew if the line was big, you know, this is a good joint. This, this is, is good. a good joint. Oh, quite often, I wonder if it would be different these days. They're running their phones and stuff because we we used to be great, great, good banter in the um, great banter. Oh, sometimes you do some of your some of your finest work in the oh. line. So, um, anyway, finally got to the front of this line after about an hour, and the bouncers just said, and we were chatting to the bouncer for for probably the last ten meters, probably so probably the last fifteen minutes, and we finally got to the front. And he goes, "Sorry, boys, too pissed," and we're like, "You are fucking kidding me! Yeah. You you you've been chatting to us, so you knew you were going to turn us away." And um, and anyway, my mates called him a cockhead. Rah rah. One thing's led to another. They're just bloody smashing our faces against the uh, against the concrete, knocking a- the teeth absolutely, out. Absolutely. Um, absolutely doing a job on us these are uh, these <laughs> bouncers and we got the bloody shit beat out of us and um anyway so I turned up to work the next day all beat up and um the, and my boss has gone jesus what happened and i was like oh mate we were just minding our own business in this lineup <laughs> got to the front of the the queue told him the story and he goes where was it and i said oh it was the um it was the precinct yep and um and he goes oh, i know the bloke that owns the precinct and I was like, because I was pretty pissed off. I was going, well, well mate, it was fucked because we're minding our own business. We're yeah. outnumbered. They were massive. We're, we're small. Rah, rah. And he goes, I'm going to ring that. I'm going to ring him. And he's, and I've, I could hear him. And he's on the phone. He goes, I oh, forget the guy. I like, Johnny. And he, and he goes, yeah, Johnny, I've got a great little bloody country kid here that's just moved down. And he's good been a great, good kid. Gone. And your bouncers beat the shit out of him the last piss night. piss out of him. And, and, and the, the guy's like, Mate, we didn't have any trouble last night. And he goes, no, of course your bouncers are going to say that. Rah, rah, and my boss had just given him a spray. And then I'm thinking to myself, I don't think it was the fucking precinct. <laughs> and um, and it wasn't the precinct. It was another joint in the city. And I, I, for some reason, I had the precinct on my mind. I was like, oh, shit. And I never had the heart to tell him. But he yeah, yeah gave him a good spray for... For no real reason. So um, I love it. He's he's great though. He's coming out. Um, yeah, just he came in a bat straight for straight into bat and uh, trusted his employer. And obviously, we know through this podcast, you got a fucking terrible memory. Shocking. And, so, uh, um, <laughs> yeah, so so that a was few um, bouncers that got away with kicking the piss out of a few. Uh, yeah, I know. A few I, piss blokes at the, Christmas. Forget the name of the joint, but I, I know it wasn't the precinct. So um, yeah, Christmas parties. Be careful. Um, we actually had a yeah one of our. 
our work. We've got a couple of Christmas parties going on, and yeah, a few of the boys got a bit loose this year. Um, Where'd you go? What happened? Run us through it. Oh, they, well, we had a bit of an incident last year because our companies break into a few little, um, a few sections, and one section went first and went ape shit. Well, run us through the sections because you've got sort of you're in the office in the you've mentioned yeah, the open the, plan oh, office so you're yeah it's more different companies bit, that fall under the okay. same sort of banner and one of them um yeah got a bit loose last year and because of that we had to go 10 pin bowling which went yeah which was pretty shitful was there drinking at the 10 pin oh, bowling was, but, but it was, it's, it's just 10 pin bowling yeah that's right it's uh it's not it doesn't really scream we're crazy guys. Oh, or it's just women. Tempin bowling. Shit. People go on about it, but look, you, you have a beer with someone, you... It's uh, like, hang on, mate. I've got to go grab me ball. It's my turn. Yeah, yeah. And it's then, like you never get any sort of nah, bloody you conversation just going. You just want to relax and Halfway have a Christmas a story party. And Tom, you're up. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm like that. I, if I'm drinking, I don't really like playing pool. I don't no, really like no. playing cards. I just... No. If I'm drinking, I'm just sitting there. Like, if you and me were getting pissed, like, I, I don't want to be, oh, mate, it's my turn, or you're, you're waiting for the pool table, oh, you're 100%. playing darts. I don't want to do that. I just want to drink piss. Just want to drink piss. And it's a shit sport. Like... Yeah. Name another sport on the planet where everything, except maybe darts, everything is always exactly the same. Like you could be playing in China, you could be playing on a windy day in fucking Colombia. Every every lane's the same. Every lane's the same. I think they're all the same length. If you're a pro, people go, oh, gee, the pros are good. If the pros ever miss one, that's fucked because yeah. it's, ex- it's exactly the same. It's the same lane. The same. There's no wind. There's no wind. There's no... There's no outside influence there's no one putting you off nah. there's no one on the mark it is no pretty one... fucking boring when you think about it isn't it well they should if you're a pro you should get it every single time like, you should yeah like I get it I, I play once a year and I, I, you get a few strikes what's your high school oh, I it's pretty hard to get over 200 though you it's think it's pretty yeah. easy but yeah. then uh, yeah. but we're not pros we're a long way from pros long way from pros but if you're playing every day you, you should knock them down I, I apologise I know we're quite big amongst the uh, ten, ten pin bowling, bowling crowd, but um, and darts is probably another one. Where except darts is, it's a little board and it's a fucking long way away and a darts small. Long way away. So, and most of them are pretty pissed when they play. Yeah, they? true. So that's that's also a factor. So Christmas parties, yeah. So um, yeah, just watch out. You can can get yourself. Yeah. So what'd you end up doing? Oh, you went you went ten pin bowling this year. No, I had to go ten pin bowling last, last year. Last year, what are you the doing boys this year? Cocked it up. So yeah, well, fortunately like the guys didn't mess it up. Too, no, the guys didn't mess it up too much. So we're we're going somewhere decent. Ooh. The beers will be flowing, and it's uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Great, looking forward to it. But there's always someone that plays up, but yeah, just got to make sure it's not your good self. No, that's it, mate. That's it. That's it. And what uh, you mentioned before, um, you had some Santa stories. Um, you were talking about yeah Santa. yeah well it is, yeah, it is I guess it is a Christmas uh, Christmas theme we're trying to run with had a couple of couple of zingers um, I remember once uh, back in Wodonga it was a obviously a bit of a Christmas function down a local footy club and Santa turned up in his fire engine in the they fire always engine on the fire engine yeah, aren't they I don't know why is there always on the put a fucking fire out no but, um, no I don't um, know, ask a question what yeah. if that's just an Aussie thing or in other countries he's turning up in the I wonder what the connection is there. I, I don't know. Maybe. maybe he's in the country CFA or... Yeah, maybe. Maybe he's just... It was always a fire engine, always wasn't on it? The back it was of the never fire just engine. a ute or something like that. Uh, anyway, he's turned up to the footy club. Kids everywhere. Jumping castles. It's good times. And he's um he's got like hard... Or boiled... Hard board lollies? Yeah, boiled lollies. Boiled lollies. Boiled lollies. Like rock hard little lollies. Like satin boil yeah, or yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, mum and dad they used to own a lolly factory, so I know all the. Did they? Yeah, I know all the bloody lollies, mate. Oh shit! Yeah, Regal um, Sweets. Regal Sweets. Yep. Is it not quite as? You know, it sounds a bit. Um, it like, sounds like nice. the king and the queen were yeah. eating our sweets, but no, it was mainly just. They like, did hard boiled. Hard boiled. It was called satin boil. They used to buy it in the big, big boxes, and then Jesus. bag it up into little bags, and then send it to hospitals and schools and. Schools, yeah. Mate, I, I reckon that's why I don't eat lollies anymore. Because when we were kids, every Sunday, we would just... I remember just me brother, just fistfuls of bloody raspberries, just stuffing them. It's no wonder, mate, none of us have got diabetes. Did you ever work in the factory? Miraculous. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. It was almost, we were like, it was like Willy Wonka and the Oompa Loompas. <laughs> like the little... <laughs> we were on minimum wage. We were fucked. 
Uh, and I think even when I was at uni in like uh, when I was 26, I had to go back and do a few days there when I had no fucking money. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Big, how many people worked there? Oh, very small. It wasn't like yeah. the Cadbury or anything like no, that. It was no, no, I've never a, heard of it. A, a dingy, no, no. So if you went, wanted, is it still around today? The, no, no, they've retired, they've, they've got out. They're, they sell um, up or just shut, shut in, the a, doors? in a mansion yeah. in Turak from all their uh, lolly lolly <laughs> money. Um, I did not know that. No, Bayswater. It was in Bayswater, just a factory. I think the most they had was maybe three people plus yep. mum and dad. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. So dad would go out, he'd do the deliveries. He was the face, oh, the yeah. face of the company, you know. Of course he was. Graham Hocking. He, oh, he used to love all the old ladies at the... Um, uh, hospital cafeterias, they all loved yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. He's cracking jokes. So they were big in the sort of hospital cafeterias. Hospitals. Schools? Schools. Well, there's your... Schools, yeah. lollies. You probably can't no, do that now. No, they're not lollies these days. not selling lollies in the schools. No, Might have got out of the right centers. time. Some health food. They did yogurt. Did some frogs, yogurt. Yogurt, frogs and yeah, carob. Frogs. Carob. Carob. That, that tastes like ass. Yeah, carob. So that's so fucking... good. That was yeah, no good at all. Health, health, health food people love it. But, you know, you know they, they've made their millions and, uh, you know, oh, they're, good just, on them. they're just rolling around Rosebud in their bloody, in their lolly money, just yeah, in, in bloody, the big good money on pit. Them. So, good, good on them. So, on them. Uh, anyway, so Santa's burling around on the back of his, uh, in the back of the fire truck on Martin Park, the footy field. Kids going mental, kids running around. And he's just throwing out handfuls of, uh, of lollies. And, um, and there was one kid out the back. You know when you'd always try and hit the, he's try and get the the seagull with the chip. And there's yeah. one, one kid that was struggling to get it, and he's yelling out, yeah. and Santa, <laughs> Santa, and um, anyway, Santa's obviously spotted him, felt Loaded sorry, up. so and he's just throwing it. And I remember I saw it clear as day, and the yeah, Santa had a fucking good arm on, arm on him, and it got this kid right, right in, in the, the teeth, front, tooth. front two teeth, smashed him. just smashed a bit. Kid went down. Ambos, Santa's, Santa's had to leave. Yeah, yeah no good. Santa's, he was, uh, he was. Have you ever had your teeth smashed in? No, uh, I've been pretty, um, pretty, I've been punched in the face a lot, but I've uh, been lucky with the with the teeth. Yeah, I got 2002 grand final, Collingwood, Brisbane. Kicking half-time heroes. Yeah, half-time yeah, Half-time heroes yeah. in a court and uh, a few mates kicking the footy around. And I was drinking VB Stubby. And just as I went to have neck neck the beer, like footies come in, someone's uh, kicked it from the side, and I've just gone, pff, and I felt all this shit in my mouth. I thought it was just the top of the bottle, and I've spat it out, and tooth. it was white, and I was going, ah, oh, shit, there go me teeth. I've had I've had a shocker because then the next year, first um, first. Pre-season practice game at uh, East Ringwood. We've okay. gone. We've gone up to Yarrawonga. Yeah, good footy. Uh, played Yarrawonga. Yeah, played on. Um, Who did I play? On? Oh, I played on Timmy Hargraves. Who played? Oh, uh, he was good. He Hard was, as a cat's head. He was good, and I. I he was on. Uh, uh, he was resting forward flank. I was on. I was on half back, and uh, I grabbed his jumper at one stage, and he he let me know in no uncertain terms that uh, if you grab my jumper again, I'm gonna fucking. Yeah, he knock was a, you out. He was a bit like that. So I didn't really grab his jumper after that. I managed to survive right. getting my teeth smashed out then. But later that night, uh, we're out at um, the. It might have been the RSL or the big bloody Mulwala yeah, 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 club great, up there. Great joint. And a few blokes maybe had a run in with some gypsy jokers. Okay, that's no good. So one of the boys got that thrown into a, like one of the glass windows the windows smashed but then we've gone outside and there are a couple of bikers out there one of the blokes fly kicked one of their bikes and i just remember i was oh, so boy. pissed and i saw this bike sort of wobble it's just like oh my god if this goes over we're dead you're dead we're yeah. dead it sort of it stayed up but then i remember seeing a mate just get king hit and i've run in first first year at the club you know, make an impression. Young bloke, yeah, just yeah, turned yeah. 21. I've got the dreadlocks. I'm one in flying. All in. One yeah. in, all in. Yep. So I've walked up to this bloke. He's fucking massive. I've grabbed him. I go, fuck off, you dickhead. Fuck off. And he just turned around and just gone fucking whop. And I've just, Yuck. bang, split the lip, chipped the tooth. 
I'm on the ground, fucking passed out. Well, not quite passed out, but definitely groggy. Uh. And uh, another bloke, he took a swing at a bloke, missed him and ended up in the garden. But uh, yeah. security had to say, all right, boys, like you're picking the wrong crew yeah, here. Yeah, get out of here. Um, get out of here now. So this, this girl picked us up, jammed about six of us in the back of the car, took us to the hospital because blokes were cut up on the back. I chipped me tooth, split me lip. There was there was it was carnage. It was, it was carnage. carnage. The so city get out boys, of Yarrawonga or yeah. the gypsy jokers. Are gonna yeah, the fuck city you boys. Right uh, yeah, Thought fun they, night. Good night out. Good night out in the country yeah. for the city boys. Yeah, yeah you got to be careful. You got to be careful. I remember one. I was when I I played footy in Griffith for a year, and uh, I was living with this guy, uh, Porky Porky, and we were uh, uh, playing for the Griffith Swans, and we we're walking home from the footy club one night. And I won't say the name of the club, but it was one of the uh, certainly one of the larger um, uh, biker, mm, more yeah. well, better known uh, clubhouses, and it was just rocking. And yeah. um, and we and this is the stuff that you do when you're young that we, you would never do um, these days. We we just walked up to the door, we we're blind. It was probably three <laughs> in the morning, and we just went up and said, "Can we come no in?" No line up, no line just up, straight how, in. How good's this joint? Yeah, went in and um and we said, "Can we come in for?" A for a beer and, and they were just like I think they were just in disbelief so I said oh yeah, come in and we just sat at the bar and it was probably <laughs> I remember there were probably 30 blokes and probably 3 um, women and we just sat there for about an hour and then we did you know it was oh yeah 100% yeah, yeah, we had, okay, had all the big um, okay, oh yeah, yeah they yeah, all had yeah, their yeah, patches yeah. and yeah, um, gotcha, gotcha. And, uh, and it was one of the big ones if not the biggest and and Griffith, she was a rough she was a rough little town and that in the like 70s or something there was all the like yeah, there's a fair bit. On there. yeah, a, bit a fair on. bit going on in the Griffith. Dude got shot, like yeah. the mayor or something like that. Yeah, there was a bit going on. It was and, all um, so anyway, so left. Good, had, had sort of a bad vibe. Um, after a little while, a couple of guys were sort of eyeballing us, and we were tiny. I, I, I was little. I reckon the other guy was smaller and younger than me. So he would have been eighteen. I reckon I was, <laughs> I was nineteen twenty, and we've left. Gone to footy club on Tuesday, training, and I said, it, you know. Rah, rah, did you get home all right? Because uh, we were both from out of town. Yeah, we popped into the um, clubhouse and they just what did the? just silence. And they said, never do that again. Don't do that again. Do not do that again. Uh, for the Do not do that again. And they were dead serious. So we sort of didn't even walk past the, uh, their, their clubhouse again. Yeah, just one of those things that you do when you're young and you're... Uh, it was, so, it was quite interesting. I still remember it quite clearly. It was a pretty cool little, uh, yeah, cool little setup in there. Well, it's sort of funny when you when you're naive like that. You have no idea. No like, idea. You, you yeah. just walk in and uh, yeah, you don't know. Like it's like walking into a gay club or something. You're like you don't you don't know. You just walk in there just and walk it's in. And go, but you get. You ever been into a gay club? Well, I went to one in Sydney and they are animals. They are yeah. The guys. I, I had no idea and uh, I walked in there and um, with a few mates just fucking round. I took my top off. I'm on the stage and yeah, yeah, yeah. throwing the shirt around. This is up in yeah, up in Sydney, and uh, for the I felt like a piece of meat. Oh, yeah. After that, oh, I was talk about getting eyeballed. I was fucking <laughs> getting eyeballed uh, all night. Uh, yeah, it got to a point where uh, yeah, I, I'm out of here. Yeah, I've only been to the. It's a it's a it's a 15 minute story. So it's for another yeah, for another another rep. Yeah, we did. I did the gig at that um that all male swingers night. Oh, um, yeah. That's a tale for another yeah hang in we'll uh we'll get that one we'll get that one out there stay tuned for that one but so we're we're talking christmas another one another funny one um uh, a mate good mate of mine back in wodonga his street or circuit used to be the street in wodonga for the for like the christmas decorations and and if you're picturing in your head you know what you expect in Melbourne. Day. It was it was shit, but it was the only <laughs> like it was like cardboard cutouts, and it was just so he made an shit. Effort, though. Yeah, people made an effort, but but because it was the only one in Wodonga, people used to come and just do this circuit, like come all, from all come, come from, from all over bloody, the place to see this street. And... and one of the biggest attractions of the street was my mate's old man who used to sit. He had a um. Like a like a sofa, a single reclining sofa. Great that he had on his roof, and he used to dress as um as Santa and sit up there and w- and wave at all the kids, and he'd do it probably between six and eight every night for the last two weeks. Brilliant up to Christmas. And, oh, people used to love it. He used to love it. Kids used to love it. 
And uh, one year, oh, it must have been getting late in the year, um, and it was hot, and he was up there because it was in Wodonga. Oh, would have been up there in all his thirty-five kids. degrees, oh, forty degrees, forty plus, and some little shits, probably fifteen, <laughs> sixteen-year-olds, have come and um, with a heap of eggs and oh, fantastic, and just, uh, yeah, just biffed. Biffed a heap of eggs out and he's up there going, fuff, 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 just getting fucking pounded by eggs. And he was a big... But when you're on a roof, you're sort of, you've got nowhere to really go. You've got nowhere to go. Nah, he's nah, sort of, just copping it. Yeah, he's just copping these eggs. And and although he was Santa and the kids probably thought it was Santa, he was actually a big fucking unit and a tough man. And he's he's got down and and I remember and he was running to the end of the street and, and he had a couple of the kids just pinned against the wall and he was telling them to, to fuck off and all this Santa's stuff. not yeah. coming this year you and little all, fuck and all the, yeah, these other kids were looking around looking on going what yeah oh, these Santa's kids going Santa, Santa stop. stop Santa's watching don't worry about yeah, that yeah it was no good it might have ruined, ruined Christmas for a few kids but uh yeah, that was always a uh, always pretty entertaining seeing Santa. Isn't it funny though there. when you're uh, j- just throwing throwing shit like and the number of times you've thrown things, but it's never really connected. Um, oh, I've had one, yeah, and you, you sort of know as you're throwing it. No, nah, that's missed, that's missed. But then yeah. sometimes you go, "Oh, that's gonna, that's, that's gonna, gonna hit." Land, yeah. oh, at cricket training, I, I played two years of cricket at the uh, Moorabark Cricket Club. I was uh, under 16s, and but then I was feeling, I was playing seniors as well. So I was at like oh, seniors. Jesus. They must have gone uh, all right. Like in the threes. Or something like that. Oh, so, so seniors yeah. isn't the best you can... There's well, seniors is seniors. good. The ones were good. But I was sort of oh, playing okay, threes yeah. or fours, just filling in, yeah. yeah. Nah, it's still so, good. Still oh, good. it's all right, mate. But, uh, so we're doing yeah, field and practice on the ground. Yep. And it was, it was that time, obviously, didn't have a licence, 16, and I was getting picked up. Mum was picking me up. So, you know, two other kids. She was probably, you know, she, you know five minutes, you've got to go grab him and get him. So me brother... I'm, I must be 15. My brother would be, say, eight or something like okay, that. Yep. So grade two, grade yep, three. Yep. Comes out onto the oval, my little brother, and says, come on, we've got to go. Mum's yep. uh, here, we've got to go. I said, I'm fucking fielding practice. I can't I can't leave. He go, but I've got to go. She's got to take Megan to bloody netball or some shit like this. Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm not budging. I'm not budging because uh, you, you, you can't leave seniors cricket training. So my brother, like picks up a cricket ball from about eight metres away and just custard arms it. Just throws it at you. Got it nowhere near me. Ballsy little got bastard. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little smart ass, but got it nowhere near me. He's like seven or whatever. So he's seen the look in my eye. I've snapped, got the, yeah. the eyes straight yeah, through yeah, him, yeah. and he's sort of seen it and taken off, taken off. I've picked up this ball. He's got to about, tw- I reckon, 20 metres away, and I've just pegged it at him. Yep. As soon as it left my hand, I go, oh, fuck. Oh, this is- oh fuck. And uh, it wasn't in the back. It wasn't in the ass. It's got him smack bang in the back of the head. Oh, that's a bit of a danger spot. Yeah. yeah. And you know when you get someone flush and sort of their momentum's going forward and yeah, sort of yeah, yeah, it yeah. hit him, he's sort of fallen forward. He's grabbed his head. The ball's rolled off into the car park. And as soon as I've done it, I've gone. I remember one of the boys going, whoa, he's got him. <laughs> 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 he's got him. And then, but then I go, then the realisation that I am fucked when I get in the car and yeah, when mums. I get home and dad's home, I am oh, I'm fucking toast. You are in the shit. So I, I jumped in the car. Did he go down? He went down. Yeah. yeah. Oh, probably definitely concussion. Didn't split him or anything, but tears, waterworks, a whole lot. I think oh, I'm fucked. And uh, once the message gets passed on to dad, I don't know whether there was a beating, but there was definitely some stern words. And uh, yeah, yeah I didn't man. throw a cricket ball at me brother. Uh, for a while for a while for a while so yeah but yeah. it was fucking it was spot on it was a great fucking throw yeah yeah, yeah running man by fucking mile nice one hopefully, yeah hopefully that was a another good or a good, good episode we're starting to get some feedback some good feedback good. I think we're starting to get in the rhythm it's great it's great like I said I think the story where we make dicks of ourselves is really working uh, thanks to everyone who is listening once again this this will go up on YouTube. If if you're into YouTube, I know Pornhub's dragged dragged a, a fair few videos off the internet, so we've got to fill it with something else. So we'll fill it with uh, good banter. So you can check that out. Subscribe to the YouTube. We've got the Good Banter podcast.
page on Instagram. Uh, once again, tell your mates about the podcast. People, you'll be going away for Christmas, so just binge listen if you haven't. If you tell a mate who's going away. Maybe don't listen to it in front of the with the kids in the car and stuff like that. No, leave the uh, headphones probably. Pop headphones the headphones in. in. Uh, but give it a rating. Give it a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Uh, do you want to plug your books, Tommy? Uh, you've got you've, you've been a busy boy this year. Yeah, wrote a couple of books. Wrote a kids book and a uh, an, an adults definitely not a kids book. An adults book and um, yeah, the the one the um, the adults book's been selling like hotcakes. But the look, the kids one's been a bit bit slow to get going. But I'm sure she'll be uh, she'll be right. Written and illustrated by yours yours yeah, truly. It's Harry and the Magic footy tree I'm oh she's a great I've little story in my, in my hand now we just put it on the youtube there but uh we might have missed the christmas rush yeah yeah old australia post isn't isn't exactly what fine, i'll do right? i'll put the link to the books on the on the youtube and on the podcast i'll, I'll put the link it's on gum gum road gum road so, yeah it? gum road yeah so do that instagram youtube tell your mates have a great Christmas. Have a safe Christmas. If you're going to throw stuff, just don't throw it at people, all right? Don't throw it. Yeah, skim, skim a rock. Throw a rock at a tree. Yeah. Throw Tennis, an cricket, backyard cricket. Just do that. Just don't throw it don't at anyone. Don't throw it at people. It never ends well. And we've learned that tonight on the uh, Good Banter podcast. Episode 10 in the yeah. fucking can. In the can. Thank you and good night. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thanks for listening.